And today we're going to be checking out this C-shaped end table. That's right. This is a very versatile end table slash nightstand or TV tray. You can use it for so many different things, but it's very easy to put together. It only took eight screws and two knobs. It does have caster wheels on the bottom, so you can roll it around. If you don't want to use the wheels, you don't have to. Those are optional. And what's cool about this table is you can loosen these two knobs right here and you can swivel it in any direction that you want it to be. And with the large base, it's going to give it stability in all directions. And not only that, you can lower it and raise it to fit your needs. You just turn the knobs and crank them down tight and it's going to hold your table in whatever position that you want it in. For example, <clears throat> if I wanted to say, use it as an end table for this couch, I could just set it like this and I can lower it down so it's a more suitable height. Lock it in and I have a nice little end table. I can put a lamp on here. I can put my drink up here, whatever I choose to. If I wanted to say put this, I could put this part of the base underneath the couch itself and then you can just loosen these knobs and say if I was going to use it for a TV tray, I can just adjust it to the height that I want it to be at. And then I can sit on my couch while I'm watching TV. It's a little bit high, but I can lower it down, tighten the knobs back up, and I have a TV tray. I can hold my drink, I can put magazines if I'm reading a book, using my PC. It can all sit on this little table right here and it's gonna be nice and very sturdy because it's underneath the couch. Say if you wanted to leave it here and you wanted to convert it back to an end table, you could actually just spin this around if you wanted to and now it can be considered part of the couch, which is very neat. It's very versatile in the directions that you can use it. And even with the wheels on it, it fits under my couch. So I can really put this pretty much any way that I want to. Now that I've showed you how versatile this little table is and how it can be configured in many different setups, and you can see that it goes from about the same height, maybe a little higher than the sofa, it will come all the way, whoops, all the way up to about this high right here. So it can go quite tall if you need it to. And it's just a really versatile little table. So if you're still interested in this little table, I'm gonna encourage you to stick around. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to put this together. I'm gonna to show you all the steps. The instruction sheet is literally one page and uh, let's cut to it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this table together so you can see how to do it. Right on top, you have some little knobs and screws and an Allen wrench. You have four caster wheels and a wrench. You have the center post right there. You have simple one page instructions. And then inside here, you have your wooden base and top. This is the tray side, this is the base side. And that's all there is as far as parts go. Now following the instructions, we're gonna separate these two pieces. We're gonna take just the square base right here. And this is going to go onto the bottom plate. Now the bottom plate is the one that's got all of these different hardware already installed in it, as to where the top plate looks like a tray. So we're start starting with the bottom plate. We're going to line this base up with these four holes and install the four screws. And just like that, step, step one is done. Now for step two, we're gonna take the round pole and we're gonna take the tray and we're gonna bolt this in just like this. There's only one way you can do it on this part, so you really can't mess it up. You just put four, those four screws in. All right, now we have the round pole on the top and step two is done. So now we're just gonna take the base here with the square pole and we're going to insert the round pole into the square one. And then we're going to take these two knobs. One's going to screw in right here. Right there. And one's going to screw in the back. Just like that. Now we're going to flip it over. 
And I'm going to say that this step is optional. We're going to put the wheels on the bottom. Now, if you, for some reason, just want to use this where you can slide it underneath your couch or your chair, depending on how high it sits off the floor, you don't have to put the wheels on it. I'm going to go ahead and install them though. And just like that, the wheels are installed. Now they do give you a wrench, but this is kind of thin and it made it a little difficult to put the wheels on. Now you could use this to put the wheels on, but I was impatient and I just used one of my own 12 millimeter wrenches. And just like that, the table is fully assembled. So like I said, easy to put together, very versatile. You can transform it in height, you can swivel it 360 degrees. The only limitation with this table is your imagination. I like the fact that it's got this little deep in tray right here so stuff won't slide off of it as you're moving it around. It is actually made out of wood, which is really cool. And this is gonna be perfect for those smaller rooms to serve as an end table, a TV tray, or a nightstand if you need it. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.